Do you like creepy baby dolls? Because I don't. Hey everybody, welcome to the Book Nook. Today we are going to be talking about Just Like Mother hmm, by Anne Heltzel. This book was very, <laughs> well, creepy baby dolls aside, it was a book about this cult called the Mother Collective and oh boy, did they have some effed up ideas in their brains. So the whole premise of this book is there are these two girls, Maeve and Andrea, and they grow up together in this cult. Maeve is eight and Andrea is 11 when the cult gets busted up. It's a big old news story. Uh, the kids, they get put into the foster system and then they get sent out to live with these other families. Their whole lives change and they go into like normalcy and you know how they grow up and try to live a normal life and all of that and Maeve this whole time still like searched for Andrea the whole time they were apart eventually they do find each other they find each other through a DNA test and they they meet up and they talk and they reconnect and Andrea's all like super rich and glamorous and has this company called New Life they are in the business of creating these lifelike baby dolls that help people to deal with grief and to help people who are going to be new parents. Andrea does not want to talk about the past at all with Maeve. She's just like, let's just move on, go forward. And I, you know, they both, they miss each other so much and, and rebuilding the relationship and having to trust each other and everything seems really great. And then stuff starts to become a bit suspicious and mysterious and stuff from the past starts to come to the forefront. People that have been in Maeve's life disappear and bad stuff happens, but Andrea is there for Maeve when all these bad things happen and so she starts hanging out with Andrea again and meets her friend Emily and Emily's husband and, and these people are all really weird about the fact that Maeve is not married, she doesn't have kids, she doesn't want kids, and they're like, but being a mother is the greatest joy in the land, that is your whole purpose, what is life without children? And so that's when it starts to get really weird and creepy. It's a very twisted read. The story, you wanted to know what was going to happen next. The fact though, that Maeve was never suspicious of anything. She, she's like, ah, oh, but then she'd like, no, no way, no way. Andrea couldn't still be mad about what happened with the cults and all that. No, it's fine. <laughs> Is it fine? Is it fine? I don't know if it's just a firm case of denial that everything was fine and roses, but you know, everything was not. And things take an interesting turn. This book was, uh, it was a wild ride, that is for sure. I liked it, but I didn't love it. It's such a weird subject and like the whole thing with like how people get sucked into these cults and the way they behave and how the people can get kind of whipped into a frenzy because of it. it was very you know dark and disturbing as it should be in a good horror book and it definitely had some really great elements of horror in it this book was like a 3.5 star for me the story was good it flowed well i wasn't disappointed in the ending but i didn't love the ending the cult aspect was pretty good i did like the characters I was disturbed. I'm trying to figure out why I didn't. I think I think something about the ending, I just sat unwell with me, maybe? I can't talk about it, though. Yeah, I mean, if you want a good disturbing, creepy read, I, I read through it pretty fast. Like, I wanted to read it. It wasn't that I didn't want to pick it up. I feel like creepy baby dolls and cults, disturbed women, just like mother might be for you. I don't know why I keep doing that voice for them. Hello, hi. Welcome to the Motherhood Collective. Make babies, more babies. Anyway, <laughs> do you like horror books? If you do, the next video coming up is gonna be another horror related video. So stick around, check it out. Come back, see me again, and we'll talk about more bookish stuff and weird things. So until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.